So over the last month or two, I've been testing a few different types of security cameras from different companies. Now, since I ended up testing multiple different types of cameras from different manufacturers, one thing was consistent, and that is each one seems to have their own app, and even one of them has their own DVR system. But what I wanted to do was find a software that would work with all different types of cameras and run it on my own server. So in today's video, let's talk about Blue Iris. <laughs> What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. Like I said in the intro, I am talking about Blue Iris. It's a security camera software DVR system that I purchased and I am now using to run and monitor multiple cameras. Now Blue Iris is actually a paid for option. I think I spent about 60 bucks on the software itself plus another $10 on the mobile app. But I did go through and I tested multiple different types of softwares out there. I can't even remember the ones I tested but I originally started off with the zone minder which pretty much <laughs> turned out to be pretty bad i think my biggest gripe with zone minder was how it stores the files um i just i was not impressed it was nice that it ran on zeus the unraid it was in a docker and everything it was great that it was all integrated but it was just it was not what I was looking for. It was a basic bit. So I installed and uninstalled a couple different ones until I landed on the final software that I liked, which was Blue Iris. Now the reason why I landed on Blue Iris and the reason why I liked it is that it is very user friendly to get up and running and to just continue running. Installing new cameras are usually super easy. You just forward Blue Iris to the IP address. It'll do some scanning. It'll kind of detect what it is. And most of the time, maybe 85% of the time, that's it. Most of the configuration is already Already put in play. And a lot of the features I like with Blue Iris are not necessarily specifically only on this software. A lot of other software has these options but Blue Iris was one of the easiest to get set up and so far, one of the most stable. You have things like motion detection, compression options, you can record directly to disk without re-encoding your video files. I mean, there's just, there's a lot of like root options that you would think would be on every single piece of software out there, but I didn't really find it on all of them. So I really like how it's designed. Even doing something as simple as omitting certain areas in the camera to not trigger the camera to record is really easy to use. You can tell it to pre record like 15 or 30 seconds before a trigger and after a trigger if you want to. And configuring the mobile app is actually really easy too. Launching the Blue Iris is pretty easy. It automatically connects. You can go to your cameras, you can see which cameras that you have listed, and you can view those cameras in real time. Or if you want to go back to the cameras, you can see different triggers that might have happened before and allow you to scrub through and watch and see exactly what was triggered and made it record. Now, the only gripe that I have with the app is that I cannot seem to get the two-way audio to work with the cameras that I have those available on. I can hear what's going on from all of my cameras because they all have microphones, but I am unable to get the actual two-way audio to work. So if I had to say anything, maybe that's my only complaint about the software overall. That does kind of make me go into the manufacturer specific apps that I have on my phone in order to do that two way communication. Uh, so that is kind of a gripe. I would like to have that feature, you know, maybe on my end figured out. Uh, maybe I'm doing something wrong either way. I just wanted to mention it. But one of the best things about Blue Iris is that its compatibility list is huge. It handles so many different IP cameras out there. In fact, as you might've seen in the app, I also have it tied into the work cameras, just actually, I don't know, I was just kind of testing it out. But basically the work cameras run off its own centralized DVR system. It's like an all-in-one package. It's not like a custom made server or anything, but this is able to connect to that using its IP address. It can you know, specify which cameras it wants to access and that DVR will basically forward the images from those cameras over to my system. And I can attach it to however many cameras I want to. The system at work, for example, I think has about eight different cameras and I chose just a couple of them. So in my opinion, I think the Blue Iris software is very robust, very simple to use, and very easy to get set up. It does cost a little bit of money to get there, but a small price to pay for simplicity and usability. It's hard for me to judge the performance needed in order to run this because I am running it on a virtual machine with my Xeon processors, and I think it currently has about 20 cores assigned to it. And if memory serves me right, it doesn't really go past 20 to 30% CPU. But again, this is a Xeon server. It's a low frequency you know, speed, but but it has a lot of cores. 
It seems to use the cores pretty efficiently without running into any problems, so I guess that's a bonus, but again, it's really hard for me to judge the overall uh, performance of the software just based off all that. Now in the future, I will do a follow-up where I basically address any kind of concerns that might come up after I add more cameras. I do plan on making more videos and covering either more models or more different types of cameras from manufacturers to see how good they are, how reliable they are, how easy they are to set up, etc. But as I start adding more cameras, I'm going to just basically run them and see how the Blue Iris software handles massive quantities of cameras. Massive, of course, maybe being like 10. I don't really know. I mean, this is kind of a starting point for me. But while I'm on that subject, I want to throw something out there. Basically, I had this idea of instead of creating one separate video, you know, for these like $100 to $200 range cameras, I had this idea of maybe getting on, you know, Newegg or Amazon or something and looking for like maybe three to five cheap cameras. Cameras that, you know, either do or don't have Wi-Fi, doesn't matter, maybe do or don't have power over Ethernet capabilities, but basically like $20 to $30 cameras. I get all of those bundled into one package and basically review which ones are the easiest to use, which ones are the easiest to set up, what's the image quality compared to each other. So if that's something you might find interesting, leave a comment below to let me know. But back to the Blue Iris software, aside from the mobile app two-way communication functionality, I don't think I really have any complaints. It seems very reliable in picking up motion activated triggered recording, so I haven't really missed anything. And even if I did, I can go through and I can change the sensitivity of that motion triggering so it can either pick up more or pick up less. But I noticed that you really don't wanna get it too high sensitive because then it'll start to be triggered by random fluctuations in the video quality itself. Maybe some pixelization or something like that that comes from the camera or in the coding or something like that will just randomly make it trigger if you make it too sensitive. But that's more along the lines of the camera itself. Some of my cameras still running off of Wi-Fi and less on the software of Blue Iris. As for viewing, like I said, I have this thing in a virtual machine running off of my main server, Zeus. Now I find myself basically having a team viewer up all the time. I just leave the window open and it remotely monitors the entire virtual machine itself rather than Blue Iris. But I did find a standalone program that remotely connects next to Blue Iris that allows me to, you know, monitor those videos in real time. The only reason why I don't use this though is because it's not as fully functional as the actual Blue Iris software itself. So while I can see real time triggers and remotely monitor, you know, the Blue Iris software from my main computer and usually at higher quality, it doesn't give me the option to go back and see the triggered events and see maybe what have happened, you know, 20 minutes ago. I can scrub back. It does have like a buffer thing where I could like go back five minutes if I want wanted to, uh, but it doesn't allow me to see those triggered moments as easily as the Blue Iris software itself. I do wish that maybe if I were to install the Blue Iris DVR software on my main computer, that I could configure it to remotely control the Blue Iris software running on my virtual machine, giving me direct access to all of the same features without actually having that DVR system running on my main computer. I've looked around for this feature or some way to use it like this. Maybe you guys have some insight. If this is a possibility, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments or link to some kind of tutorial or setup process or something, because that would make everything like a thousand times better. I mean, let's be honest, TeamViewer, I got the free account. It's not 100% reliable and it's kind of low quality. So, hey, if you got an option for me, I'd love to hear about it. But anyways, guys, that was just a short video. I wanted to kind of cover the Blue Iris software. I don't dive into all of the features because let's be honest, I'm really only using probably 40% of the total features that Blue Iris has. Things like scheduling, I don't need. Remotely uploading JPEGs of what was captured to a server, I don't need that. I mean, there's a lot of small features like this that I just don't really need, but it is great to have those as options. Of course, because there is a lot to this software, if you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. Since I use this as a daily driver, I will try my best to answer them for you. But hey, as always, thank you for watching. If you like this video, like and subscribe below and have a good night.